in this case, we're going to have to take it on kind of a blind faith that this organ was uh, gut or uh, colon or large bowel, whatever you'd like to call it. The reason why you have to take it on faith is because I really don't see much of a remnant of a mucosa, a submucosa, um, possibly even smooth muscle. Is there smooth muscle over here? Um, let's see. You can see nerve, you can see blood vessels. I don't know if I'd like to call that smooth muscle. It may be, it may be just the smooth muscle of a large blood vessel. Uh, you can see that generally we're dealing with kind of a soft tissue of fat, fibrous tissue, nerve. And you're going to have to believe that this uh, patient uh, had diverticulosis slash diverticulitis and this is an area outside of the bowel wall that represents part of a diverticular abscess and you could see that like any other abscess it's just loaded with neutrophils and if you had a good eye you could recognize all these as being neutrophils you can see some areas where there is fibrosis you can see other areas where there's perhaps more of a mixture of lymphocytes you could see fat. Uh, and the one thing that you might not see or your mind might instantly erase because you don't like to give meaning to uh, things that don't have nice uh, crisp outlines are areas like this. Normally you would just erase that and say, oh, well, that's just a piece of caca from the bowel that's within the abscess and who cares? No, I don't like to diagnose caca. And maybe you'll see other areas like that, like here, which are bigger. Well, if you look closely, this is a absolute classic picture of what we call a sulfur granule. Because grossly, they look kind of yellow. They look like a little granule of sulfur. Uh, they may have some palisading of inflammatory cells. They may have some darker, yuckier stuff on the inside. That is a classical sulfur granule. Uh, whenever you see a sulfur granule, even if it is small, like this one, but if you look closely, it has the same kind of a texture, a granular basophilic uh, thing, maybe with a little peripheral rim of uh, inflammatory cells. This is actinomycosis. Did you ever see those little yellow uh, flecks on your tonsils that you might have accidentally coughed up and they smell absolutely terrible? Well, those that's actinomycosis too. And actinomycosis is a fungus that looks and behaves in many respects like a bacteria, often involved uh, with abscesses, uh, not only in this diverticular abscess, but uh, more likely in abscesses in the upper uh, respiratory tract, like the head and neck. And um, that's all I have to say. I hope you remember that when, if you ever see this again, this is a sulfur granule. Thank you very much.